everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. It is 11 out of 12, which means we have one more month left until this year ends. 2018 has come by so fast and I'm so happy that I was able to stick to my New Year's resolution of completing a monthly favorites video every single month. If you guys are interested to see what items I have been loving this month, then please keep on watching. All right guys, we are gonna start off with beauty and the first item that I have for you is something that I picked out while I was in Queenstown and it is this Antipods, Antipodas, Antipods, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it is this Manuka Honey Skin Brightening Eye Cream and it is a product of New Zealand and the reason why I picked this up is because I have a photo of this in my phone. So usually what happens is when I meet makeup artists or when I meet people who recommend things to me, I usually take a photo of that, like for example, there's a really cool lipstick that a makeup artist used on me, I will take a photo of that lipstick so that in the future when I'm abroad or when I see it, I will remember to purchase it. And because I meet so many different people and so many people have a lot of different recommendations, I tend to forget who recommended these things to me. So this was in my camera roll, which means that this was highly recommended by someone. And I tried it out. I actually just bought it in a pharmacy or in a drugstore. So it's not like a super high-end skincare brand, but it is all natural, which I really like. And when I apply it, I usually apply it in the mornings under my eyes. So I put a little bit onto my finger and then I mix it up. And then I just slowly tap it onto the under of my eye. And it does instantly make my skin feel very refreshed, like it's tightened, it's brighter. So I have been really enjoying this lately. Another thing that I got from the same brand and in the same store is something that I've also been enjoying. So lately, I have been getting a ton of breakouts. Not a ton, but just like a little bit from time to time, like on my forehead or on my cheek. And I really don't like applying those over-the-counter creams or like pimple remedies that are super strong and drying on the skin. So I've been applying this. So it is the Antipods Aura Manuka Honey Mask and I got it again at the same brand in the same store at the same time that I got the eye mask. It is just like a face mask, you know, those sheet masks that you put on your face. This one is sort of like that but without the sheet. So you just apply it onto your hands and then you rub it all over your face, massage it in and leave it for about 15 minutes and it is made of water, Manuka Honey, avocado oil, etc, etc, etc. So it's all organic and it's really been helping my breakouts. It's been helping calm my skin down. I've been really enjoying it as well. All right, my next beauty favorite is something that I got in my Berlin trip and it was actually recommended to me by my friend Nana. You guys seem to really love her. She's such a funny girl and she is surprisingly also very into beauty and fashion just like the rest of the blogger besties. So she gets along fine with all of us. She recommended this Ajana toothpaste to me because her mom is a flight attendant and this is something that her mom and their friends swear by. So it is a very, very small tube of toothpaste, but it is very, very strong. You're only supposed to use like a pea-sized amount or just even like a seed size amount. It doesn't really say here, but it's really strong. Jack, I gave one of these two and I forgot to tell her that you're supposed to use a really small amount. So she used the normal toothpaste size and um, her mouth was peeling here on the side because this is really strong. But what's great about it is that it supposedly is able to keep your breath fresh for like 12 hours, I think. I think this has been really working because every time I get my teeth cleaned, the dentist always tells me like, whoa, you're super impressive. Like there's nothing, like there's no plaque, there's no buildup, there's no Stains. And for someone who drinks a lot of coffee and a lot of wine, that's really surprising that I have no stains on my teeth. And I think it's highly because of this toothpaste. So if you guys are looking to have really fresh breath, I highly recommend Ajana. You can buy this, I think. I'm not sure if you can buy it in Berlin or in Amsterdam. I'm sure it's all over Europe. It wasn't super expensive. I've had this for quite a while now and it's really lasted me. So I highly recommend that you try this out too. All right, next is a makeup item that I have been really loving as well. It is the Benefit What's Up. It is a highlighter. I use this in in a video where I use all new products that I haven't tried yet before. And ever since I filmed that video, I have been using this product nonstop. It just gives you like the perfect natural highlight. So it comes in like the stick form and it's kind of creamy. So you apply it onto the high points of your face and then on your nose or wherever you want to highlight, you can apply it. It's super easy. At the bottom part, it has this sort of sponge thing that comes attached to it and you can just use that to spread. Although I don't really use this because I feel like it doesn't really do a good job, but the product itself is really, really good. So if you want a natural highlight that you can just pop in your bag and take wherever you go, this is a really good option. And last on my beauty list is something that I've been using non-stop as well. I did a short video on this on my Instagram. It is the B by Vanilla Contour Duo and it is a contour powder and this 
is in the shade 01 medium. I really like this because it comes in two colors. So you have a lighter contour color here and then you have a darker brown contour color here. So you can just mix up the two shades depending on how deep or dark you want your contour to be. I've been using it every single day. I'm using it right now and I really think it gives just the right amount of warmth and coolness. It's not too warm where it makes you look kind of orangey and it's not too cool where it makes you look a little bit ashy and I have been really, really enjoying it. Okay, we are now moving on to our tech favorites and the first tech item that I'm gonna show you is this Apple Watch. This was actually gifted to me by Casetify. So Casetify has come up with Apple Watch bands. So these bands are also from them or the strap of the watch is from them. I normally don't like to be super duper techy, but this one on my wrist, especially when I'm traveling or when I'm doing errands and I don't have my phone with me all the time, instantly I can like check my messages. Like it vibrates me to remind me that, oh, somebody's calling you or somebody's texting you. And you can also set it up to remind you to take a breather or to relax a bit or to stand up and do a little bit of exercise. You can set it depending on your goals or your fitness goals for the day. So usually when I am in Cebu and I'm editing my videos, I am editing. Like I am in the zone from like 10 a.m. to like 7 p.m. I'm just on my computer and that really strains my eyes. It makes my back really painful and with this watch, it really reminds me to take a break from time to time, relax my eyes, grab a cup of coffee, have a snack and I think that's really useful for people who are workaholics like me. My next tech favorite is something really cute. It is personalized. It says Chris, and it is this power bank. It is from iWalk. It is the same company that sent me the power bank with a digital percentage that I really, really enjoyed. I think that was in one of my other favorites videos. And it comes in this box over here. So it says that it has a 3300 mAh charge, which is small but strong. And I love it because I can just pop this into my little bags, especially when I don't want to carry like a really big bulky power bank. This one, especially when I'm traveling or when I'm partying at night, is super easy and convenient it fits right inside my little bag. So I have been really enjoying this too. All right, next tech favorite is this. Ooh, gotta be careful. Ta-da! It is this very, very beautiful cell phone case, again from Casetify, they gifted this to me. So it has a lot of like copper flecks on it. I don't know what it's called, like rose gold leaf details. And then it has like pressed flowers on it too. I have to be careful because this thing is attached to my mic right now and I don't want to cause any static noises or whatever. Casetify is really cool because it looks pretty but also it really protects your phone. Like when you drop it, it has this like rubber casing on the side to protect it. So it is shockproof and every time I bring this out, my friends always ask me where I got my case. It is also customized. It has a little KU on the bottom. Okay, moving on to fashion. I have two sandals for you and it is by the same brand. A local brand called Preview Shoes and you guys might have seen me wear these sandals on my Instagram already. They are so beautiful. I love them. They're super comfortable. The first one is it's like a slipper with three straps. It's just so easy to wear. It's super comfortable and I love that the straps are super thin. So I think it is perfect for like going to the beach or if you live in a chill city like Cebu like myself. Next is a pair of slides. It looks really, really cute as well, especially when I'm wearing like a more corporate or formal outfit and I just slide this in. It gives sort of like a cool, casual, effortless vibe to my entire outfit, but it still matches and it makes it look really cute. And last but not the least is my book favorite for the month of November. This time it is another self helpy slash business kind of book. It is Crushing It by Gary Vee. And I really enjoyed reading this book because it teaches you how to use your social media platforms like YouTube, Facebook, even Musical.ly, Instagram, Snapchat, like all of these different social media platforms. It teaches you how you can use this specifically. So it's not like on Instagram, I post one thing and then I just post the same content, which is what I'm doing right now, on my other channels. It sort of inspired me to create more content and to be more creative. I think the best part that I liked while reading this book is that it's sort of reinforced that what I'm doing is okay. What I mean by that is I've been online. I've been an online creator for nine years now. It's been a long time. And sometimes I still feel like, huh, is this really a real job? I am really busy. Like, in fact, I don't even have time to do other things. But reading this book sort of reinforces that you're on the right track. Digital is the way to go. It just made me feel a lot more comforted. Gary Vee also put in a lot of stories of different people who have used his 
tips and tricks and they have gained a lot from from it so if you guys are interested to build your online platforms i highly recommend that you guys read this book as well so that wraps up my monthly favorites for the month of november i am so excited to wrap up this monthly favorites for 2018 we're so close if you guys enjoyed watching this video then please leave me a thumbs up click the bell below subscribe join the family and i will see you guys in the next one bye Mwah.